Welcome back, blade lovers, blade aficionados, followers of the channel. This is this old sword, and this is a uh, special review I've been waiting to do. I've been splashing this knife up on Instagram and some shorts on my channel, etc., etc. It has been a good amount of back and forth from you guys, uh, recommendations on knives that are like this one from Max Ace and so forth, different versions. Um, it's been exciting. <laughs> so here we finally are and I've had to wade through a number of other knife reviews first and finally got to this one. Um, seems like a lot of knives have come my way these days. Not by accident, I ordered them. <laughs> so without further ado, I wanted to show you this this is what you get a pelican style case with the max ace label on it so we're going to undo these two little latches here and notice it's got a little handle so you know if you don't want to put your knife in a on a clip in your pocket you can carry this around <laughs> uh, it's all about presentation right so there it is with the name and everything the Corvus 3 by Max Ace. And look, we have the specifications. Since they're all metric, I may measure it for you Imperial units guys anyway. Okay. You got a cleaning cloth. And this is pick and pluck foam. Not one of my favorite, but they didn't really pick it out. Let's dispense with all the chatter about the case. If I can get it out of here. All right, off into the wings for you. Here is an amazing knife, what they did with it. Materials are a frame of titanium, a backspacer, uh, of titanium and these enormous slabs of the zirconium. Now, before I open it up, let's get you a little closer so you have something to watch while I talk. And I promise it won't be long. I know a lot of you guys would be fast forwarding past this anyway. Uh, I was curious about what zirconium is, and um, it is an element chemical element with the symbol ZR and atomic number 40 and uh, the name zirconium is taken from the name of the mineral zircon and the word is related to Persian zargon the most important source of zirconium what's it used for it's used for ultra strong ceramics and to make crucibles that withstand heat shock furnace linings foundry bricks abrasives and by the glass and ceramics industry. It is so strong that even scissors and knives can be made from it. There you go. So that's what we've got. This gray stuff that has been, uh, I don't know if that's molded in or cut in, that pattern, but a beautiful artistic pattern there on the handle that kind of those swooping lines and hash marks. Real interesting pivot. It is a flipper and a thumb stud. So uh, why delay? Let's take a look at the blade. And that is your typical traditional drop point Corvus blade by Max Ace. They've made it before with other knives. I'm going to show you uh, another one in a moment that came I believe before this one but look at the way that the scales are uh, kind of inletted into the titanium frame quite a bit of work went into this knife the pocket clip itself is art that goes in with the pattern on the handle um, it has enough flex that it goes in and out of the pocket easily look at how 
I wouldn't say steep, how long the ramp is, both in and out. And uh, this is a slippery material. So I found it goes in and out of the pocket amazingly well. It's not deep carry, but this size knife, maybe you don't want to go deep carry. What is the action like? Well, it is a really a frame lock with that um, zirconium scale over it. So we're going to call it a frame lock. Um, what I didn't notice, <clears throat> yeah, it does have hardened steel insert. Most of these should. Either that or what they do in knives that don't have a hardened steel insert is they harden the very end of the uh, titanium. So you have a surface that's as hard as the steel. Very smooth. I didn't give it much effort there, but it'll drop and I haven't really worked this in much at all. You can see there's the Maxace branding on the show side. On the clip side we have the name of the knife and the steel it's made from and the year it was made. Maybe just a little bit more branding than I like but uh, certainly nothing like some other knives. So it has this sort of bill like almost a pelican like um, look to that blade. It is bead blasted, finely bead blasted here on the grind and satin finished on the flat with a bead blast inside this little milled out area here. Now, that's not really sharp enough to use. I mean, it's right next to the thumb stud, so uh, can I middle finger flick it? Yeah, actually I can. Took a little effort, but I could the whole knife in the picture. Um, it's about that time to take some measurements. So let me back out as far as I can. And let's see what we got. We've got a nine and a quarter inch overall knife. And we've got a blade of uh, 4.3. That's about what they said it was. Going to the micrometer here. We have a handle thickness in inches of 0.62, not, not unexpected for this size knife. And um, I'll keep it in inches. We got a 0.15 blade stock, which turns out to be, uh, let's try that again. I think it should be four mil. Nope, 3.8. So 0.15 inches is 3.8 reference for future such measurements. Let's see what we got for a weight. It's not going to be light. Um, I believe the zirconium is adding a lot of weight to this knife. Oh yes, <laughs> 8.47, call it eight and a half ounces. Yes, uh, a bit of a pocket anchor but you know a lot of us don't mind carrying a heavy knife in the pocket particularly if you're putting it in some uh, good supportive you know um, 511 pants or jeans or what have you action is just really really nice let's see if i can fail this ah it's pretty well tuned almost made it all the way out one more time hitting my reflector that's when you know you got a long blade. It's uh, pretty much fail proof. You have a small run of jimping here. It is smooth, however. It is not very grippy. But you're locked in behind that guard, which is the flipper tab. And uh, look how much handle I've got left over. This is a big blade. And yeah, we got a little, uh, do we have a lanyard hole? Yeah, we do. It's hidden. So it's under the surface, just barely. It sticks out slightly. You fish your line in through there and out the other side instead of straight across. 
Yeah, you can feel that weight in the hand. Now, as I said, let's show you something else. Here is the Corvus K. So Max A's Corvus 3, Corvus K. You can see the similarity in blade shape. Maybe this one's just a bit pointier, but they both have that hump on the back of the blade. This is Bowler K110, signified by the K in the name. Uh, Jade G10, that's been sort of rock sculpted. And a, a titanium backspacer, titanium clip. Now, uh, Max Ace doesn't always do the best job on their clips on their K-series knives, and you can see that on the Goliath and some of those, but hey, eh, what the hey. This is a pretty light knife because uh, it's got some liners. Let's see. Won't get too into it. We're not really talking about this knife. It's got a liner on one side. Yeah, over here. And it's got some support inside the pivot there. So that's the Corvus K. Now just for sheer size comparison, Here's the Sandstorm K. And the Sandstorm, Sandstorm K, I didn't expect to be larger, but it certainly is a bit larger. They're both still big knives, but we're much taller here on the Sandstorm. And while we've got those two out on the table, how about the Goliath 2? And the Goliath 2 is also a large blade. So as big as this blade is on the Corvus 3, 4.3 ounce, ounces, 4.3 inches, um, it is somewhat dwarfed by the two big brothers here. I would say we've got, you know, a good inch longer on both of these. And if we take the Corvus out for a moment, we can see we're very comparable on the Sandstorm and the Goliath 2 for length. The Goliath 2 is just a skosh longer than even the Sandstorm. But big knife, right? You like your big knives? These are the ones. And uh, you can pick these up for a little over 100 bucks, 110, 115, something like that. They all have amazing drop shut actions. But here again is the uh, showstopper for today. The Max Ace Corvus 3. And there was a Corvus 2 and a Corvus 1. Completely different style handles and whatnot. I'm going to leave you a link to this one on White Mountain. Not sure they're still in stock. But there is also a... Um, Amber 3, which is a beautiful knife that's got uh, multicolor uh, carbon fiber inserts and a, a similar blade of a similar length. One more look around. Beautiful knife. Look at that backspacer. Just gorgeous. And uh, although we don't have any fancy looking carbon fiber here, this really does make up for it, the zirconium. Crazy stuff. Hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, M390 on this blade, if I didn't mention that, but that'll be in the specs. Um, so we have the titanium, zirconium, and M390. Um, these are going for three, you know, 280, I believe, 288, something like that on White Mountain, and you can get 10% off using my discount code, Old Sword. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe.